Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Um, sitting here with a couple of men from God Chasers Community Church, and I, I asked them a simple question, what makes a great father? And so we just want to discuss that today. So we're going to start out with my man Mo. Mo, what makes a great father to you? Uh, what makes a great father to me is understanding that it's really not about you. As a father, it's about uh, your children, it's about your community, it's about, it's about your family. Yeah. Uh, but it's not only about your family, it's about uh, filling in the gap where you see things missing. Yeah. So if, if uh, you're somewhere and there's a, a wayward child in, in a situation where you can provide feedback or encouragement, you owe it to him as well. Mm -hmm. um, in your community, not only do you need to keep your, your area straight, but you need to be a resource for that, the community and the houses and the people on that street as well. Yes, sir. Uh, accountability is also important. Wow. So accountability. With, uh, with, with you being a, uh, an example and being accountable, not only when people are looking, but also when people aren't looking. Wow. Um, because your, your effects can have a ripple effect so what you may think nobody sees or yeah. it, it doesn't matter, it does matter. And then the after effects of that action matters when we're talking about good things mm -hmm. and when we're talking about bad things. But we want to echo the good things. So that accountability and, and, and uh, just being a positive member of your community, well, I, I believe those are some of the things that make a great father. So what, and you guys can chime in, so what, is it, what does that actually mean to you? I think it means just being able to be open and transparent with your kids to let them know that, you know, what they've been through, what, what they're going through, uh, what you're going through is, is not something you don't want to hide it, you know, because that's the thing. We're as men, we, we're supposed to be so strong, we're supposed to be so this and so that, that we don't, we forget to show the other side, the tender side yeah. uh, to our kids, you know. So I think that's what I mean by being, you know, uh, accountable. Letting them show, letting them see that dad's not perfect, but yeah. dad is his best, is the best dad that I can be. Yeah. You know, I'm doing the best I can. Yeah, yeah. that's beautiful, man. So, uh, Pastor Kevin, what makes a great father to you? It's a really interesting question. I'm thinking about when I, when I see every person, every person is here because of a man and a woman. Yeah. Are here because the man produces and the woman reproduces. Yeah, man. So men produce. Fathers are, are, young people are here, kids are here because of a man producing. Yeah. But what makes a, a father is a man not just producing but him being present. Yeah, man. Yeah. I, I believe that a man, a, a father needs to be present yeah. in the life of their children. Uh, me personally became a father at a very young age. Yeah. I had the opportunity to go to college in Dallas, but I made the decision to stay and be present in my son's life, yeah. in my children's life, because I understand one thing is when I look at the life of Christ, he knew that his father, his heavenly father, was always there no matter mm -hmm. where yeah. he was going yeah. through, no matter what situation he was dealing yeah. with. Yeah. He was in the temple, and, and he's telling his, his mom and his, and his earthly father, didn't you know I'll be about my father's business? Yeah. Yeah. And so he understood that that his father was always there with him. Yep. Even though I couldn't see him, even though he wasn't there, I know he's there. And one thing my kids will never have to say is that my father was never there. Yeah. And we have so many children and so many people in our generation and the generation now who, who are saying, I don't know who my father is. I don't yeah. know who my yeah. daddy is. Right. And so a great father where it's a natural, where there's... Uh, biological, a stepfather, or whatever you want to call it, if he's present, whether you gave birth to the child or you, you produced the child or not, you are a great father simply because you are present. You wow. are there. Yeah, wow. That's good. Yeah, yeah that's, that's good. real good, man. Yeah, that's a, a word that you can use in multiple senses. So, mm -hmm. you know, to be present, but also present, like, here, here in this moment, yeah. yes. you know what I mean. Yes. It's one thing to be in the house; it's another thing to That's be good. in this moment. Right. Yeah. And there are a lot of fathers who are in the house, oh, but they're, they're not, not the present. Yeah. present. They're not yeah. present, yeah. and and the present yeah. is a present. present. You know, right. you know yeah. what I mean? It's, it's a gift, and so every single moment is a gift, and you gotta take the best advantage of every moment. And you know, uh, you run into parents who say, "Well, I wish I would have." Right. This or that. I wish I would have, you know. Mm -hmm. And what I'm saying is, if you just are present in every moment, mm -hmm. I think that looks like, that. that's, that's what success that. looks like right. yeah, mm -hmm. for a great father. Pastor Ravon, what's a, what's a great father look? Uh, what's a great father to you? 
a good father is actually um, a lot of different things rolled up. But um, just in thinking about this question, I think generation, generationally, we have to recognize that each of those qualities has had to stand out differently in different generations. Yeah. Um, and, you know, in the 70s, 60s, 70s, you know, men needed to be stronger, you know, yeah. um, and, and just different qualities. So right now, I think that the quality that, that a good father needs to have right now is patience and understanding wow. and realizing that there's a gap that has happened yeah. between, you know, whether it's the 90s, 2000s, whatever, there's a gap in our men and, and between our men and our young men as far as being fathers, and there's, there's space missing there. Yeah. Uh, there's time missing there. So we have to understand that although this is my son, he's going through something totally different than what I went through. Mm -hmm. and, and what yeah. so him coming into his manhood is a different road than what I traveled. So wow. I, have to, I have to recognize that what he's going through, um, I, I may not understand it. Wow. I may not know. You know, I don't, I mean, just listening to the music, you know, we thought we had gangster rap or whatever. Yeah. This music is totally different. It ain't gangster no more. It's something wow. else. You know what I mean? <laughs> so just recognizing that, um, you know, we have to be a little bit more patient and understanding of what they're going through because what we want them to be, they may still get there, but they won't get there the way we got there because it's just totally different. Well, I think for me, I, I stumbled into manhood. I had no direction. Wow. And so we look, when we look at the Jewish community, the bar mitzvah is yeah. a symbol in the community yeah. that yeah. says, yeah. okay, here is my son, and yeah. I'm presenting him. Yeah. Yeah. To, yeah. So that's a guidance exactly. into manhood. Yeah, it so now yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a symbol of, okay, so now you, you have a different expectation now. So mm -hmm. me, without having my father present, there was, I didn't understand. My mother could give me recommendations on which way I should go. Sure. But she didn't connect yeah. because she was not a man. Yeah. But yeah, that's really good. I mean, for me, I think it's distraction. My kids have way more distraction yeah. than I had. I just, I didn't have that much distraction, you know. I mean, of course, there, you know, there's girls and there's that's girls. Nice. That's and, nice. Girls yeah. and football. Yeah. And that was it. That was it. Girls and football. That was it. I mean, I didn't even do homework. It was just <laughs> girls and football, and that was it. Yeah. I mean, but with my with my children, there are so many more distractions. There's the there's the the fame monster, you know, and it's, it's always there. Everybody want to be famous, you know what I mean? Everybody want to be on TV, you know what I mean? And so there's that. There's the media. There's the music. I mean, I, I love music. I, I'm a big fan of all different kinds of music, all different genres of music. But at the same time, the music back then, they, the message was veiled. Mm -hmm. mm. yeah, now yeah. the message is not it's veiled. So wide open. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. It's, yeah. 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 yeah, that's what it is. When, yeah. I, when I was growing up, I really thought Puff the Magic Dragon was about a magic dragon. Right. It was veiled. Right. It wasn't. Right. It wasn't yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know that it was about something else. Right. Right. But no, now no. it's not even. You know, it's Puff straight up. Facts. This is I what am. I do. Yeah. This is who I am. Yeah. I take pills. I smoke. Yeah. I drink. Yeah. I'm supposed to stop, yeah. but I can't. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like this. This the media. They have so much distraction that we just didn't grow up with, and I think that's a major thing. So I have to try to teach my sons to eliminate distractions. I, I think that it's what they are exposed to. Yeah, that's and right. I think I wasn't exposed to half the things that my sons are exposed to, and our in our age gap, it's really not that not big. It's not really that big. When I think about what they're exposed to, it's not just what the TV exposes them to, but now it's education. What are they yeah. teaching in the education system now? Because now they're so liberal to where it says, okay, now every religion needs to be taught. Yeah, now, yeah, now, right. I mean, I mean, from all anything from Christianity to Buddhism now to Satanism needs to be taught wow. now yeah. in the school. Now, now they're showing, now they're giving away uh, coloring books and, and and children's books that that have two male penguins and yeah, things like. Yeah. So they're trying to teach and expose mm -hmm. our children to things that. My faith says something completely different to right, right, So right. now they're questioning my faith, our faith, what I'm trying to teach them because of what the culture and the society exposes them to. Wow. So now it's as a father, how do I teach them without feeling like I'm bashing? Right. Come on, man. <laughs> Uh, on, this man. is what the Lord desires for you, yeah, and yeah. this is what the world's going to destroy you with. Yeah, yeah. And, and and so I, I'm so thankful that the Lord says I have overcome the world. Yeah. So it's now me being an overcomer and yeah. me being confident, even if 
I don't get them right now. I'm so grateful that the word says train up a child in the, the way, way that they, they should go. go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And yeah. so if I if I do my best, this is where I, I say, hey, I did my best. But if I do my best to expose them to the word of God as much yeah. as I did, yeah. having prayer time with my family, teaching yeah. them about, about the Bible, buying them Bibles more than I'm buying them video games, yeah. giving yeah. them to church more than I'm getting them to the movies or to yeah. anything else that will expose them to the world, then I've done my job. Yeah. And then yeah. my hope is that it won't take them too long to come back yeah. right. if they do right. happen right. to go astray. Right. I think... What makes a great father for me, and it, and just like all of you guys, you know, I, I, I'm going to allude to something that Mo said off camera, but uh, what makes a great father to me is really understanding. And the first part of that, and this is what Mo was talking about, is understanding that I'm not yet a great father, no. that I, I'm in a process, and I'm working on something. I'm not where I, where I'm supposed to be, but I'm not where I used to be, right, and right, I and right. I'm focused on that work, mm -hmm. I, and and this kind of ties in everything that we've discussed today, all together. Because for me, it's about me understanding that I don't have it all together. I haven't figured it all out. I'm working on something right. that I don't have the answer to his psychological question mm -hmm. automatically mm -hmm. just yeah, because yeah. I'm his father. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, a lot of times. We even tell our children, you know, we say, I, I've been your age, you've never been my age. And that there is some truth to this, but you've never lived their life. Right. They've had their own life exactly. and their individual life. Yeah. And for me, I think a great father understands, you know, my sons don't always have it together. together yeah. They haven't all figured it out, and your, neither have your children or your children or your children. They're, they're learning they're in a process, and I'm in a process. And I tell, I tell my sons a lot, you know, I don't, I've, I've never had a, a, an adult son who lived in my house. So we're figuring this out together. Right, right. Yeah, I, right. I've yeah. never had an adult, yeah. you know, or even a 16-year-old son, you know, who lived in my house when my son was 16. So we're learning this yeah. together. Yeah. And, and so you gotta, you got to help me. Yeah. And I got to, you know, and, and really... We, we won't come to a place of understanding if there's no communication. Yeah. So we got to be communicating, we got to be talking, and we got to be present. We got to be there in yeah. the moment. And I think those things, if we can get established those things, then, then we'll be great, great fathers. Uh, and the final thing for me is so I guess the first thing is really understanding, the second thing is sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Great father sacrifice. Yeah. And, you know, I don't want to stand on my soapbox, but we had a father. We have a father. There is this Jesus. Mm -hmm. And he yeah. sacrificed his life for each one of us. Yeah. He laid yeah. down his life for each one of us. And if I can lay down my life for my sons, even when they don't get it, even when they don't understand why I'm yeah. doing this, right. even when they don't understand the airship that's related to mm -hmm. my sacrifice, mm -hmm. they, don't, they don't know what it took, again, to be a 17-year-old father, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. sacrifices that I had to make right out of high school, right into the Army, they'll, they'll never, they won't yeah, understand they won't those things yeah. until they make their own sacrifices. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. But we serve a father who sacrificed for us mm -hmm. when we didn't deserve it, when we didn't understand it. Yeah. And he's been the perfect example of what yeah. sacrifice looks like. Right. So I think for me, and again, not Paul said, not that I have attained but I press toward the mark. I press toward the mark of sacrifice with my children. The, the place where I can be the, 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 the person who says, all right, all right, I, I'll give in. You know what I mean? And I know that's tough for a lot of parents because they don't want to ever have to give in to their children. But in order to get him to the place where he needs to be, if I have to lay down to be the bridge he walks over to get to where he's supposed to be, then I'm fine with being that bridge. So, man, thank you guys so much. That was great, great info. Uh, Brother Mo here, Brother Ravon, Brother Kevin, thank you guys again very much. Thank you. God thank bless you. you. And uh, happy Father's Day to all happy the fathers Father's Day. at uh, GC3. We hope you have a wonderful Great, wonderful, blessed Father's Day. God bless you. Thank you guys again. All right. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>